UC Berkeley students are shooting for the stars, literally. Undergraduate students from all different majors are competing in a nationwide NASA challenge that could give them the chance to work with renowned engineers and astronauts and send their experimental design to space from NASA headquarters. Representing Berkeley as the um, competitor for Challenge One, um, and we have a very capable team, and I have no doubt that we're going to win this competition and um, just represent Berkeley as one of the winners for NASA's Micro GNX Challenge. Our bears designed the Berkeley Autonomous Emergency Responder which locates and navigates to distress calls emitted from an astronaut in the middle of an open ocean. The goal? To significantly increase the likelihood of a safe recovery during emergency situations. It's also been great seeing how my team leaders have managed to keep all of us together, even though everything's virtual. Um, I, I know it must have been really hard, but they were really good at telling us what they wanted from us. The team plans to take advantage of campus labs and other resources to test their designs. We will be working with uh, uh, multiple manufacturing labs uh, throughout campus. So hopefully they'll allow us to build some of our parts through them. I will be reaching out to our aquatics director at Berkeley, uh, seeing if it would be possible to uh, test our uh, our vehicle at some of our facilities on campus. The final phase of the competition involves going to NASA headquarters in Houston, Texas, and working closely with the acclaimed faculty. And working in the uh, neutral buoyancy lab to test our drone. That should be a life-changing experience. All of the team members share the genuine and altruistic goal to help astronauts while making significant contributions to scientific advancement. This is sort of something that is it a competition more of it is just um, a group of people working together to create new technology to benefit hopefully NASA, hopefully to develop technology. The team started a GoFundMe to raise money for their project because their budget relies completely on sponsored funds. Reporting for CalTV News, I'm Nikki Rosenblum.